forward. So let's look at how to compute the moments of a Gaussian random variable. So I'll start with a zero mean Gaussian random variable. Uh, so what we mean by this is the density function of x looks like 1 over square root of 2 pi sigma squared e raised to minus x squared over 2 sigma squared, the bell-shaped curve. So this is fxx. Uh, we want all the moments of x. Uh, so this is x to the power n, fxx dx, that's by definition. So in this case, x goes from minus infinity to plus infinity. Uh, so we want to compute this quantity. So easiest way is you start with the characteristic function of a random variable. Characteristic function is e raised to expected value of e raised to j omega x. Uh, so in this case, Uh, so this is by definition uh, uh, e raised to j omega x multiplied by density function of x dx. So we can, this is a standard expression, but we can quickly do it. So this is square root of 1 over 2 pi sigma squared e raised to minus x squared by 2 uh, minus uh, j omega x. So I can simplify the uh, exponent as x squared by 2 I pull outside 2 sigma squared. Then I have uh, x minus uh, plus 2j sigma squared, right? Omega. I just substituted for the density function here. That's going to be minus x squared over 2 sigma squared. The other term is... Uh, Uh, j omega x minus minus plus 2 sigma squared goes away, so I have j omega x dx. So to simplify this, the easiest uh, thing is to substitute x minus j uh, sigma squared omega to be y, so that x is y plus uh, j sigma squared omega, and x minus 2j sigma squared omega, which is what we need here, is y minus j sigma squared omega. So if you multiply this with this, x with this is the same as multiplying on this side. That's a plus b multiplied by a minus b. So y squared minus j squared omega 4 sigma 4. Let me substitute it here. So this is minus infinity to plus infinity 1 over 2 pi sigma squared e raised to minus. Uh, so notice that this is y squared minus j, uh, minus j squared. j squared is plus 1, so plus sigma 4 omega 4 divided by 2 sigma squared. So I can uh, dy because when x goes from minus infinity to plus infinity, y the same thing. So I pull out all the terms outside uh, other than y. So this is e raised. Notice that sigma 4 sigma squared cancel. So this is sigma squared omega squared by 2 goes outside. The rest is minus infinity to plus infinity. 1 over square root of 2 pi sigma squared constant. Then you have e raised to minus y squared by 2 sigma squared dy. But this is 1. So we get the classic expression. The characteristic function of a Gaussian random variable is e raised to minus sigma squared omega squared by 2. If you want, we can expand this as a power series minus sigma squared omega squared to the power k over k factorial k goes from 0 through infinity. So to find out, uh, so this is e raised to uh, j omega x. So I will expand uh, the, this side. To find out e to the power xn, we can expand both the sides. So e raised to xn. I'm sorry, e raised to j omega x, e raised to j omega x is uh, summation k equal to 0 through infinity 
expected value of j to the power uh, k omega to the power k or x to the power k omega to the power k over k factorial expected value is uh, goes inside the summation and expected value is only on this term this is equal to uh, the characteristic function we just computed this equal to this summation uh, so that's e raised to minus sigma squared omega squared by 2 which is summation k equal to 0 through infinity or minus 1 to the power k sigma to the power 2k omega 2k over k factorial so first you notice that when uh, we can compare term by term but one uh, interesting observation is on the right side there are only even powers of omega so that would mean that all the uh, coefficients of the odd powers on the of omega on the left side must be zero so immediately we conclude that uh, the <coughs> if the n is odd then all the odd order moments of a zero mean gaussian random variable are zeros and to find the <coughs> And uh, so if you look at the even order terms, it will, e even order terms are here. So if you look at the even order term on the left side, even order. k. So this is going to be j to the power 2n. Let's say I put a k equal to 2n. Or I have e to the power 2n, uh, 2n factorial, omega to the power 2n. On the other side, the corresponding term is uh, omega to the power 2n, sigma to the power 2n over n factorial. So this is a comparison. So I have a e to the power 2n. What This is what we want. Is uh, Notice that j to the power j squared is minus 1. Uh, so j to the power 2n is minus 1 to the power n. So this cancels here. Omega n, omega n cancels. So you get e raised to expected value of x to the power 2n is 2n factorial over n factorial except I guess I have uh, missed a 2 here so there is a 2 inside here which would come as 2 raised to k here or which would appear as 2 raised to n so over, multiplied by 2 raised to n sigma to the power 2n we can simplify the numerator because numerator is 1 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 3, etc. 2n minus 1 multiplied by 2n over 2n n factorial. Now notice that if you pull out all the even terms outside, that's of the form 2 to the power n then multiplied by, so just from the even terms you can write it as so that's 2 multiplied, 2 to the power n multiplied by 1, 2, 3, <coughs> etc. up to n, which is n factorial. So this cancels with this, this cancels with this. <coughs> and we are left with 1 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 5, etc. 2n minus 1. That's the coefficient to the power sigma 2n. So I'll write down the summary here. Expected value of x sub uh, uh, n is of the form 1 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 5 etc up to 2m minus 1 sigma to the power 2m if m is uh, if n is of the form 2m and it is 0 if n is of the form 2m plus 1 so we can quickly use this to find the uh, uh, mean of uh, uh, the, the moments of a non-zero Gaussian random variable. So for example, if I define y to be mu plus x, clearly y, is, uh, y has mean mu and variance sigma squared. So the question is, what are the higher order moments of y? So you can start with, uh, you, you can use this expression because expected value of y is from here, mu plus expected value of x, which is mu. Uh, so the second moment of y is expected value of x plus mu, the whole squared. 
So this if you expand, you get expected value of x squared plus 2x mu plus mu squared. But expected value of x is uh, 0 because x is the original 0 mean random variable. And expected value of x squared from here is sigma squared. So this is the classic result, sigma squared plus mu squared. Uh, similarly, expected value of y cubed is expected value of x plus mu the whole cube. So that will be expected value of uh, or mu cubed uh, plus 3 mu squared expected value of x plus 3 mu expected value of x squared plus x cubed. So that this will be 0, all the odd order moments are 0. So you get this is mu cubed plus uh, 3 mu sigma squared. Similarly, you can, and you can keep going, I'll do just one more. So this is expected value of <coughs> mu plus x a whole 4. So you keep expanding, this will be mu 4 plus, uh, by using the binomial expansion, 4 mu expected value of x cubed plus 6 mu squared expected value of x squared plus uh, 4 a mu cubed expected value of x plus uh, uh, mu cubed uh, uh, so this should have been mu cubed this is mu cubed x squared mu cubed x mu squared x squared and then this is mu x cubed plus expected value of x4 but x cubed is 0, expected value, x is 0. So this is mu 4 plus 6 uh, mu squared sigma squared. This is sigma squared. And expected value of x4 from here, 1 multiplied by 3 multiplied by sigma 4. So that's, uh, that's going to be 3 sigma 4 then, and so on. Now finally, in this type of problem, you may also want to find out the absolute value of, of the moments of x. So of course, if n is even, well, there is a, because absolute value of it is the same as here, x to the power n. So if n is even, the result we already have, that's 1, 3, 5, etc., 2n minus 1, sigma to the power 2n, uh, sigma to the power so let me write it as uh, if n is of the form 2k. Now what we want is if n is of the form 2k plus 1. So we'll just do it directly here. So expected value of let's say x to the power 2k plus 1 is by definition minus infinity plus infinity x to the power 2k plus 1 square root of 2 pi sigma squared e raised to minus x squared by 2 sigma squared dx. Notice that everything, <coughs> this is an even function. So this integral we can write it as 0 to infinity twice. And then we don't need the absolute value sign. And then we make the usual substitution, this exponent uh, equal to So I'm going to substitute x squared over 2 sigma squared to be y. So x squared is 2 sigma squared y. And from here, you also get x dx equal to sigma squared. X, 2x dx equal to 2, 2 cancels. So sigma squared dy. So we can substitute it here. So you have 2 over square root of 2 pi sigma squared. And you have integral 0 to infinity. So I'm going to take out 1x here because I need x dx. So this x goes away. Here I have x dx. So x to the power 2k is uh, 2 sigma squared y to the power k e raised to minus y. This is dy, uh, sigma squared dy. 1 sigma here cancels with this sigma squared. So this is square root of 2 over pi from here. Integral 0, or I have here 2 sigma squared 
or 2 to the power k, sigma to the power 2k, then I have 1 sigma from here, so 2k plus 1, then the integral is 0 to infinity, y to the power k e raised to minus y dy. But this is the uh, gamma function, k factorial. So here you have the result, it is 2, 2 pi 2k k factorial and sigma to the power 2k plus 1. So I will just uh, substitute it here. So when n is of that form, the result is 2 over pi multiplied by k factorial 2 to the power k, then you have sigma to the power 2k plus 1. Uh, so this is the, uh, the absolute value of the moment when n is even, when n is odd for Gaussian random variables. And also the, how to find the, all the higher order moments for non-zero Gaussian. This is one way, there are a couple of ways you can do this problem.